Hey everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at our next multiple answer. And here we have a table and we're gonna get asked a few probability questions. And it's a two-way table. It shows how middle schoolers get their news. It looks like we have one variable in terms of what grade are the students in. Right, that's categorical, you're either in seventh or eighth. And it looks like you can either get your news from the TV or the internet. Um, I have a feeling most people nowadays get them from the internet. But um, before I even go into this, I like to put the totals if they don't give me the totals, I, I like to write them in there because it helps me with my denominators on fractions. So this would be what, 12, not 12, 33. 13 and 20 is 33. Um, 46, I can use my numbers, 49 and 68 totals to 117. And that would, if I totaled those two, that would be 150. Okay, let's make sure I can get 150 this way. So 13 and 49 is 62, and this is 88, and 62 and 88 is 150. Okay, so that's checking out. So what is the probability to, that, at a, that a randomly student, oh my gosh, I cannot use my words today. What is the probability that a randomly chosen student is in eighth grade? So I want the eighth graders, so let me erase some of my, my stuff here. So here are the eighth graders, and I can see there are 88 out of them, 88 of them out of 150. So if I wanted the probability, that somebody was in eighth grade, that would be 88 out of 150. And if I crunch that number on my calculator, I get 0.587. So let's see what multiple choice, there it is. All right, and then it says, what is the probability to, that a randomly chosen student is in eighth grade and gets their news from the internet? So I have an and, so we want eighth and, what was the other one, internet? And whenever you want something like an and, you always have to calculate the probability. And for a table, that means let's look for where the row and column overlap. So we will do eighth grade and internet. I can see they overlap at 68, so that will be my numerator. And my denominator is my sample size. And when I crunch 68 out of 150 on my calculator, I get 0.453. So that would line up here. All right. When selecting a student at random, are the events eighth grade and gets your news from the internet independent? All right, so if it's independent, I have a couple of equations that I can use. I can check and see if the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B, or I can look, is the probability of A given B equal to the probability of A? So I want to see if equality holds. And instead of A and B, I'm going to put in eighth grade and internet. And it's just my call as to which one I'm going to use. And since this is multiple answer, let me see which options they're doing. It looks like if I look at the options, it's a bunch of the ands, right? So we're going with this formula, which I probably would have picked because in general, like I already have the and here. Right, so I know that the left side of that equation needs to be 68 out of 150. So I can see 68 out of 88, this is not the answer. I see 68 out of 80, again, not the answer. Here's 68 out of 150, that's looking good. Let's think about the probability of eighth graders. That was up here, right? And we did say that was 88 out of 150. So that's consistent. And let me just check probability of internet. So if I wanna find the probability somebody was using the internet, if I want probability of internet, let's see, how many interneters do we have? We had 117 out of 150, so let me remember that fraction and scroll back down, and there it is, 117 out of 150. So these numbers are correct. When I crunch them on my calculator, I do get those decimals, and it's close, right? You got 0.453 to 0.458, but they're not the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and say they are not independent. Oh, and I'm just seeing this D here, that should probably be down here. I'll fix that in, um, in post. So let's just pretend that you can't, maybe, I, can I highlight this out in white? Maybe I can. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I was so excited to maybe, oh, there, bye-bye. Now you can't see my little typo, but I will fix it. Okay, so now we've got, ooh, let me circle the correct answer. It's this one. All right, so we've got that. Now let's look at D. It says, when selecting a student at random, are the events eighth grade and internet mutually exclusive? So here I need to check is the probability of A and B equal to zero. And it either is or isn't. And we actually already figured it out, right? We know that 68 out of 150 does not equal zero. So I just need to look for that write up in my options. So let's look at our, our choices. 
All right, and as I start to look at these choices, I see this has the wrong numerator. This is not the answer. All right, this has the correct numerator. This one does not, right? So then that becomes my answer. And they're not mutually exclusive. All right, and that's how I figure that one out. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.